This year has brought a lot of unique challenges, and if you are tired of staying home and not being able to dine with family and friends, I want to take you to Tuscany. Hi, I'm Lisa Wood. I'm an interior designer and certified living in place professional, and I focus on creating unique and personalized environments that are perfect for now and the future. With everything that's going on this year, many of us are having to stay at home more. And in order to make the most of unique opportunities, I think that can all start around the table. So why not create theme nights that you can have friends and or family over and create something so special and memorable that they will never forget? If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. I love to interact with you. Comment below and tell me what you take away. I come out with new videos every Tuesday. So I got this idea from a friend who had talked about how he was unable to take his wife on an anniversary trip. And what they ended up doing is creating a very special and unique environment at home which then they invited some friends over. So it was really intimate. It was beautiful. And when I started thinking about how awesome this would be, why not go to Italy? Who doesn't love a great Italian dinner? Well, having that and recreating that feel is very simple. It's all done with a, you can do it with a few elements and I've sourced everything for you from Amazon. Let's take a look. When I think of Italy, this image right here comes to mind. It's rustic, it's casual, you've got some great foliage around, you have a beautiful fire going, candlelight, lights stringing from the top of the veranda, and the table is a family style table that's somewhat casual and it just welcomes conversation. So when I saw this, this made me think of Italy and how simple this could be to create at your own home. Indoors or outdoors? And we're going to really focus more on the outdoors because of the lights. These cafe lights are fantastic. Amazon has a slew of them and you can get them for a very reasonable price. They even come in an LED option and some have a multicolor function that you can do with them, which makes that fun if you want to have those. I just love the clear light. I love that amber glow and you can choose from a plastic bulb or a glass but they're so simple to install. As long as you have an outlet, you can string them up. They even have a place where you can put a nail through if you're going to attach them to a structure and they make a world of difference. I actually put these in my mother's, on my mother's patio before she passed because we didn't want to go to the expense of adding a light fixture. These were so simple. We bought them. I strung them up we did have an electrician wire a plug to where you weren't having a cord dangling down, but the cafe lights just transform a space. Look at this patio. When it comes to setting a table, I love using chargers and I found these wood chargers to show you. The top one is from Williams Sonoma and they sell one for 50. What I found are three other options for you on Amazon. The first one is a Beechwood, $16 a piece. And then if you really want to get an economy pack, you can go for that 12 pack and it's only $58. They are plastic and they have a wood look to them, but I think they work well. And then another option, if you want real wood, I love this mango. I love the beaded detail that's around the edge. And if you can imagine that sitting down on your table and then starting to layer in the plates and the napkins. I just think these wood tones are beautiful. Every table needs a gorgeous centerpiece. And I love that rustic look from the Pottery Barn Urn. That one sells for $199, but I found you some really great options. The first, the least expensive is this pitcher. And it looks really rustic. The only thing about that $15 pitcher is that it does not hold water. So you would have to insert a glass vase if you're going to use fresh flowers. If not, faux for florals work great. The other two options really kind of tie into the feel of the Pottery Barn option, but at, a, at less than half the cost. 
when you're dining with friends, you break bread. And when you break bread, you might as well get the Italian dipping sauces. I love this set. Not only can you buy this for you to share with your guests, but this also makes a fabulous hostess set. So you could buy multiples if you wanted to. But it comes with a great olive oil and then the spicing, the spice dips. Um, mix it together in these cute little white plates and you could have them placed throughout the table so everybody is able to just kind of grab and munch on it as you go because when you have fresh warm bread it's the bomb for a table runner i selected the burlap runner it's a very casual very simple element to add and this comes in a two pack so you can run it depending on the length of your table you could run it down the length of your table the other one you could come across from a horizontal standpoint make it perpendicular or i love the way that they've tied this to the back of a chair and stuffed it with some flowers if you did that you might want to get multiples and you could recreate that on on different chairs maybe just the captain's chairs or some sporadically put it around your table it just does something kind of fun and different and then of course candles i love candles i think they are so wonderful to burn at any time of the year. I particularly like this one because I love the copper around it. And then when it's got that glass dome that you could take off. If you were going to use that glass dome on the table as well while the candle is lit, then you could put some greenery underneath it and use it like a little terrarium. And I think it would be beautiful. Family style dinners call for trays. And I love the acacia wood set. It comes three to a set for only $28 and they're elegant. You could use those for so many things. Um, even when you're not doing an Italian dinner. But the other option is a pottery version, and I think these are really nice. It's a Tuscan stoneware set for only 60, and I love the colors. They're very earthy. They come in some different sizes, and again, you're just passing the food around, which keeps the dinner super casual. I love this glassware. Check out the recycled wine bottles turned into glasses. I love the variety of colors that you get. I think for an Italian meal, that is so fitting because you're always having tasty wines with your meal. At least we would be. And I think that they're fun. They could be an everyday glass as well. For something a little bit more elegant, I love this glass goblet. You can get a set of four for $19. I think it kind of picks up the feel of an, an old Italian experience. And this pressed glass up top is stunning. It's got a green tint to it. You could use it for water. You could use it for a cocktail. You could use it for wine because a lot of people like the stemless wine glasses. My husband is included in that. He always knocks something over that's on a stem. So he thinks so. He prefers something without a stem. I love this as an option. And I think what's really fun is that you need to, I think a table is so much more interesting when it's got a mix of elements and it's not all matchy matchy. I don't like designing that way in my in my spaces and I definitely don't like doing it on my table. It looks more curated, so much more interesting. So don't be afraid to mix stemware and mix the different styles of plates. For plates, I love just a plain white crisp plate. I think that it allows the food to really stand off and showcase itself. I found this embossed bone white dinnerware on Amazon and I love the detail to it. Again, it kind of picks up just an old world feel. Linen napkins, perfect. They come in multiples of colors and they're very affordable. A 12 pack for only $20. It is a very lightweight napkin and Sometimes people are afraid of linen, but linen is so durable. It's organic. You can eventually start adding other colors in and do a mix and match type variety on your table, which is beautiful. One tip I will give you that if you ever get a grease, something greasy from butter or something on the linen napkin, just get a little Dawn dish soap and let that sit before you wash it. Even if you comes through the dryer and you realize, or the washing machine or dryer, and you wash, you realize that there's still a grease stain on there, you can go back and treat it with some Dawn dish detergent and let it sit for a bit. And I promise you, it comes out. It's amazing. For your centerpiece, I did find these faux olive branches. I think they're beautiful. They look well. They, they've got some, some fullness to them. And I, I think that's... A, 
some of them are kind of cheap looking, but I don't think these look cheap. They come in a pack of four stems, but I think it's important to always consider getting at least two packs because I kind of like my arrangements to be full. I think that um, fullness matters and you don't want to get too skimpy, especially in a vase. And with those, those vases that I showed you earlier, eight would definitely do well. Now, when you are designing floral arrangements, you do want to think sometimes in number odd numbers, like use three or five or seven. But with these, I don't think it would matter. You can stick all eight in and nobody's going to know the difference. And for the piece de resistance, if you're going to have an incredible meal, why don't you hire a chef? Bring in a chef to cook and prepare everything for you so you can be completely present with your guests. That would be amazing. So I hope that that inspires you to create a really fun and unique dining experience. It gives you an excellent excuse to invite some friends over and family that you haven't maybe been able to see for a while. Take the time to really kind of get creative because you can do some amazing things at home. I love dining outside. I think Eating on our deck is just the most spectacular thing ever. I try to get my family to do it as much as possible, but why not come up with a fun theme? So I wanted to start with Italy because Tuscany is a place I want to go. And again, who doesn't love an, a great Italian meal? You could have everybody just bring things and, you know, chip and do, do a potluck type dinner or make it yourself or as I mentioned, hire a chef. And if you are on a budget and hiring a personal chef might not be in your wheelhouse, then why don't you ask friends and see if everybody would want to pitch in? I mean, how fun would that be? Everybody would be so excited to come to your home and it truly would be an evening they would never forget. So I would love to hear what you think about these ideas. I have in the link below or in the description below, I do have a link for my kit of all of these items that I showed you. So you can click on that and it will take you on over to, to see the products on Amazon. Shoot, if you are on Prime, you can have them in two days. How fun would that be? I don't know if you can get a chef that quick, but it, you might be able to pull something off. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Click the bell for notifications. I want to get to know you, so tell me what you took away from this. Is this an idea that you would love to do with your family and friends? I'd love to hear. And if not Italy, where would you want to go? We've got a big wide world out there. Let's get creative. Till next week, take care.